This video is a quick swap tutorial. Quick swap is the native DEX on the Polygon networks, both the Polygon proof of stake and also the Polygon ZK EVM. So if you're using both of these networks, quick swap is a DEX that you'll be using. We're going to go through swapping here on both the normal and pro mode using perps, which is crypto futures, and then how to use pools and farms. Timestamps for everything are down in the description. I'll leave a link to the official quick swap site in the description. There may be fakes, etc., out there. So I'll leave the official quick swap uh, webpage link down there so you can come to this page and then we can connect a wallet. Now I'm going to use MetaMask as an example here. If we click connect wallet in the top right, if you have any of these wallets, you can just simply connect them up. If you don't have a blockchain wallet yet, MetaMask is the most popular. I'll leave a video in the description that goes through getting it downloaded and set up if you don't have that. So you can just quickly watch that video to get that set up. We'll skip over that in this video though so we can get into QuickSwap. Once you have a wallet though, just come up to Connect Wallet in the top right hand corner, click a wallet that you have, and I'm connected with a MetaMask wallet right here in the top right hand corner. QuickSwap is actually built on three different Polygon chains and the one you use is down to either personal preference or the one that you need to use because another application has tokens on that uh, network. So if we come up to the top right hand corner and click this, you'll see these three networks. Polygon, which is the Polygon proof of stake chain. That's where most of the activity is right now. You also have Polygon ZK EVM, which is the new network from Polygon. It's a direct layer two built on top of Ethereum. And that's where most of the activity is being pushed towards now. And then you have Doge chain, which is a bit of a joke, but some games and other things might be on here. So which one should you use? Well, if your assets are on one chain versus another, you can do that. For most use cases, most of the tokens are being pushed towards this chain right here now, which is the ZK EVM. Uh, so what you can do is connect your wallet, in this case, MetaMask. And if you don't have these networks added to your MetaMask, you'll have to add them in. You can very easily do this by just clicking one of these networks. So Doge Chain. I'll use an ex as an example, I don't have this network connected to my MetaMask. Uh, and so this is going to add it automatically for me. Down here, I can approve this and the network details are added. So it's gonna add it all, all in automatically for me. I don't need to do anything manually. I can press approve there and it's gonna add the network to my MetaMask if I want. I'm just gonna cancel out of that one. But you can see the other two networks have been added. These are completely different networks. Uh, so Polygon proof of stake chain, if you want to use Quick swap, you're going to need Polygon Matic tokens to pay for gas on the network. I'll show you how to do that in the next section. For Polygon ZK AVM, you need Ethereum as gas. So Matic for gas on Polygon, Ethereum as gas on Polygon ZK EVM. That's important to make sure you have the right gas token for all of your trades. So whichever one, you can add them into MetaMask and then come up and just choose them. And you'll see that you can switch between the networks in your MetaMask because I'm on the Polygon ZK EVM now. I'm going to switch over to Matic and that is completely different as a network your assets are segregated and different. And so you need to make sure you've got the assets on the right network. Up here, you can see Matic network that I'm on right now. But if I switch over to Polygon ZK EVM, it's a completely different network and I have a different balance right there. Now I'll show you how to get some gas tokens into your wallet in order to pay for the gas on the Polygon network when you actually swap coins. We can come up to the top here. So I've got Polygon proof of stake network connected now. And then what I'll do is bring my MetaMask wallet up and then just click on the address right here. And then we'll go over and withdraw some Matic tokens in order to pay for gas. So the Matic coin right here, I'm gonna press the address right here and then the network. I want the Matic network right here. This is the Polygon proof of stake network. I'll press this and I can just withdraw some Matic tokens. You're gonna need a small amount to pay for gas. Gas fees might be anywhere from like two cents, maybe to 15 or 20 cents per transaction to pay for gas on the Matic network. So I'm gonna withdraw that from my Binance and then that will come into my Polygon wallet right here uh, that's connected to QuickSwap. So we need the Matic token for pay to pay for gas. And then you can either use that to trade into other coins if you want, or you can also withdraw other tokens along the Matic network, for example, Tether or other coins that are supported uh, in order to trade them. But you definitely need some Matic as gas on the Polygon proof of stake network. If you are using the ZK EVM, then you're going to need ETH. And so you need to withdraw ETH over to the Polygon ZK EVM network.
If your exchange doesn't support sending ETH over the Polygon ZK EVM network right now, I'll leave a link down below to a video that goes through using the Polygon wallet, which lets you bridge tokens between all of the Polygon networks fairly easily. So check that video if you need it. Now we can swap one token for another on the DEX. So firstly, top right hand corner, choose the network and the wallet that you want. Make sure they're connected properly. Swap right here in the top left and it takes us through to the swap page. Use best trade unless you want to use V2 or V3 specifically. There are different versions of quick swap. Don't know why you'd want to use them. Just choose best trade and it's going to route your order through the best way. From token right here is the token that you're selling. So click this and it's going to show you a list of assets that you have value of. I'm just going to click Matic here and then to estimate is the asset that you want to buy. So this one you're swapping from, this one you're swapping into and buying. Um, so we can click USDC or any of the other uh, tokens right here. I'm just gonna choose 50% to sell. So I've got 2.5 Matic and it's gonna work out the exchange rate for me and give me these details. Top left before you trade is these are the two tokens that you're swapping. So Matic relates to this and USDC relates to this down here. There are many scam tokens on decentralized exchanges because it's decentralized. Anyone can put a token in and start any pool that they want. I'd click this right here. It's going to take you through to Polygon Scan and just show you the details of the token. So I can see here that this is the real Matic. It's got 430,000 addresses that hold it. And the official site is Polygon's official uh, site. So I know this isn't a scam token. Good to check before you actually use them. And then what we can do is come down and trade. You can see the price here, one Matic is 88 cents. So that's the exchange rate between the two tokens. And the max slippage right here is 0.5%. If I click this, we can change slippage. Slippage is the difference between the price quote that you get and the actual price that it trades at. There's two reasons for this. Firstly is there's a time difference between when you press swap and when the trade actually goes through. So the price might change a little bit. Secondly, when you're using a liquidity pool, which is what this is, your trade affects the price of the pair. If you're trading a ton of money, like a really big value trade, you may affect the price of the pair. Uh, and so the slippage is something that to, you should be aware of. For most people, especially with liquid tokens, 0.1% or 0.5% is totally fine. If you're trading very small tokens, especially in fairly decent size in comparison to what they trade, you may have to increase your slippage because you may affect the pool's price. Uh, so for most people, most of the time, 0.5% is fine. Transaction deadline, you don't really need to worry about on Polygon. Um, expert mode, I wouldn't put on. This allows you to have very high slippage trades. I, I wouldn't um, toggle that on for most people. So just leave this as is. Now we can see this is the exchange rate between the two. And you can see that the price impact is 0.46%, which is actually um, fairly high. So we're just gonna go 50% here and we're gonna wait for it to reload. Okay, so the, it reloaded there. The price may have changed a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna press swap and it's gonna show me the swap right here and I can press confirm swap. I have to confirm that in my wallet though. So as we can see here, the transaction is about to go through. The gas estimated is around nine cents and then the total amount of the trade. Just press confirm here and that will swap. I'm gonna reject this, don't want to trade that. And so you can see the error and everything. That doesn't really matter. You haven't traded, you haven't paid any gas if you reject that from your wallet, um, but you can press accept and then you pay the gas and swap the tokens. There is a pro mode feature on QuickSwap as well. It actually just changes the layout and gives you some extra options. If you click pro mode here, uh, it's gonna move over to something that looks a little bit like a centralized exchange. So you actually get a chart. It takes a while to load up, but this is the chart, the price chart of the pair that you're trading down here. So this is the same order box, exactly the same uh, the way that you trade it. You just have the chart up here. And on the left-hand side, you can see these tokens, which are, you know, the most traded tokens on QuickSwap. And it looks way more like a centralized exchange where you have you know, assets coming across, but it's the same decks underneath. On the top right-hand corner, you can also change the chart details. So you have Matic USDC. You can change that to different time scales as you want. You can see the amount of transaction, buys and sales here. Again, these are just trade details, but you can change the chart as you want to just see that. Uh, and the swap is exactly the same down here. You can choose V2, V3 here, uh, and then we'll get into limit and TWAP orders. We can also place limit orders on quick swap, choose the two assets that you wanna trade, and then you can choose the price that you wanna trade at. So we'll choose the token here, which is Matic. We'll choose a token that we're gonna buy. 
Let's choose US dollar tether. And then you should be able to see the trade between them. I'm going to look on the week chart right here. And it tells me now that the trade between Matic and dollar is, you know, 88 cents for one Matic. So Matic is trading at 88 cents on the dollar. So um, what we can do is trade near that or somewhere away from it. If you want to trade straight away, choose best trade. If you want to trade with a limit price that you set, we can do that. So Matic, I'm going to sell all of my Matic. What price do I want to trade at? One Matic, I'm going to put as a dollar. So what that means is I want to sell Matic when it's priced at one dollar. The current price for Matic is around 89 cents, which is below our sell price. So we're not going to sell until Matic gets to a dollar. That's what the limit order is, and we can input that. So if the price gets up here, we will sell, and we can put that limit order in by doing this. We can come down and choose the amount that we want to trade, and just make sure that the exchange rate is what we want. And then it says down here, it should say, essentially go through. You can see the trade size has to be at least 10. This is powered by Orbs, which is basically a smart contract. And what you're going to be doing here is tying up your Matic in this smart contract. So you're telling the system, sell my Matic when it gets to this price. So what you have to do here is press enter limit order, which should be this bit here. And it will go through and you're going to have to pay gas for that smart contract. So you pay gas for the smart contract to tie up this limit order. Then if it goes through, it will actually trade for you and you'll get that price, which is a dollar. If the market doesn't get to a dollar, you won't be able to trade there, but that is a limit order and you can do it on QuickSwap. So you can put all of those in. You do have to pay gas for the uh, the orders that you put in. Now down here, you will see any open orders that you have. So if you have a limit order that is working for you and hasn't traded yet, you will see them all right here. And of course you can cancel them as well. If you don't wanna go ahead with a limit order, you'll see the order down here. There'll just be an option to cancel it. But be sure to know that uh, every time you interact with a smart contract, you do have to pay a little bit of gas. So make sure you know that before you start putting in tons of limit orders because it might get a bit expensive, even if you, know, you, you might not trade them. We can also trade TWAP orders on QuickSwap, which stands for Time Weighted Average Price. This is where you have a chunk of an asset that you want to buy or sell over time. And you don't want to do it all at once because you might get a lot of slippage or you might just get a bad trade. So what this does is trade small parts of the amount over the time frame that you want in order to get a trade price for you that is very similar to the time weighted average price of trade of those assets. So come to the one that you want to sell, come to the one that you want to buy, choose all of that and the amounts that you want to trade at. The limit price right here, this will be the lower limit that you want to trade at. Um, so if you're selling Matic, you can say, I don't want to sell below 85 cents. It will stop trading if it goes below that and it will trade if it goes above that or you can just toggle it off completely. Then you can see trade interval here. How often do you want to trade? Maybe you want to trade every 60 minutes or 30 minutes, you can put that in. The max duration, maybe you want to sell over seven days or whatever you want to do for you know, yourself. Uh, and you can put that in as you want. So that's just gonna get you an average price for the order. It's only used for larger orders um, where you, you have a lot and you just wanna drip them into the market. Uh, but it's a good feature to have on QuickSwap. You can also now trade crypto futures on QuickSwap. This is what they call perps or perpetual futures. This is on the Polygon ZK EVM. So you'll need to be on that network. And remember on that network, you need to use ETH as gas. Uh, link below in the description, you actually get a discount on trading fees on this. Uh, I think five, 10%, something like that. So um, yeah, if you use that link, you can get a discount on your trading fees if you wanna use this feature. Um, but this is very similar to GMX if you've ever used that protocol. Uh, so what we can do here is trade crypto futures on this part of the platform you are not buying and owning any crypto you're just simply taking trades based on the price and you can go long so you benefit from the price going up or short benefiting from the price going down and then you can swap tokens here as well this is really a feature for getting the right token in your account that you need to trade with so as we can see, we are trading USDC and USDT and DAI as stable coins. Um, and the assets, the crypto assets we're trading are ETH, wrapped ETH, Bitcoin, which will be wrapped Bitcoin and Matic. So I'm going to show you against ETH because on the Polygon ZK EVM, ETH is the gas token. So we can easily trade that. Um, and what we can do is take long and short positions on the price. I would not recommend swapping here. It may be a little bit more expensive than just swapping on a DEX. Uh, the quick swap decks, or even just a centralized exchange. Um, but this is in case you need some assets 
uh, to actually go ahead and fund the trades. In order to trade crypto futures, you just need a value of collateral in your account to fund any trades because we're not buying and selling crypto here. We're just trading the price. And so what we need on QuickSwap is a dollar amount for collateral to fund any potential losses. Here's how that works in very simple terms. We'll choose the asset that we want to trade. So we're trading ETH here against US dollars. On the right hand side, you need to pay an amount of collateral. So if you have ETH only and you put 100 in, you can see that you're paying 100 ETH, right? Which is obviously crazy. What you'll need to do is choose an amount because this is going to swap the ETH into dollars to fund the trade. You can see down here that your collateral is in dollars. So if you have a risk asset here, what it's first going to do is swap it in this swap feature into, into a dollar stable coin. So what you're going to do is just press USDC for this example. And let's say we have $100 um, and that's collateral to fund any potential losses in our futures trade. So what we can see down here is that um, the long is actually $258 because we're using 2.6 leverage, 2.58 leverage once all the trading fees have, have gone through. So the collateral is in US dollars. That's the, that's the value that we're funding this trade with any potential losses. The long is actually in ETH. And then we can use a leverage slider and use as much leverage or as little leverage as we want. I can't recommend leverage to anyone. Um, it does increase risk, but you can change this around. So what we're doing now is the amount that we're putting down in the trade is the same. We're just using leverage from the exchange to trade a much bigger amount than we otherwise could. You can get a $4,000 long using 50X leverage. However, what you can see is that the liquidation price is super important. The liquidation price right now is 1852 and our entry price is 1873. So a little tick down is just going to wipe out all of our uh, collateral because we've only got $100 collateral. As I move the leverage down, you'll see that the liquidation price moves way down as well. So what we can do here as a trader is just come to a trade and say, if we're going long here at 1872, where is our stop loss? Uh, for a trade, the trade will be invalidated if we come down to 1863. Um, so we have to know that if our stop loss is 1863, 1864, which is this level, our liquidation price cannot go above that like this. If it goes above that, we're in big trouble because we'll get liquidated way before our stop loss even. So that's no good. So that's how you use a little bit of leverage. If you have a stop loss, you can just use leverage as you see fit. Although, like I said, I don't recommend it. Uh, you need at least, I think, $25 to trade here, but you can click trade this box right here. You need to pay gas when the MetaMask box comes up, but that trade will go uh, in for you and you'll have a long position if you're going long with these details. In order to put in a stop loss, you need to make the trade first in quick swap. So it needs to be down here as a position, then come to trigger order right here. And it says open a position for me, but this is a trigger order. This will be your stop loss. So what you can do is open a position and then it will say, where do you want your stop loss to be? And you can enter the detail. So you have a buy order, you have a long order in the system that we opened at this level. You will obviously need a sell order down here as a stop loss, wh whichever price you may think that's appropriate. So you put the sell order in here and it won't sell until it gets down to here. You'll make a loss, but it will stop further losses. And so you can put that trigger order in at the price that you want and the amount that you want to trade at. Very, very simple. You just put those details in right here in the trigger order section. As a decentralized exchange, QuickSwap also allows users to put their assets into the protocol to earn trading fees from other users. So remember, every time someone trades on a decentralized exchange, they pay trading fees and a portion of those trading fees actually goes through to the people providing liquidity. So if you want to do that, you can earn some passive income from the trading fees that people pay. So we can come to analytics right here. This is the best way to get through to the pairs. I'm just going to come over to the Polygon proof of stake chain as it's going to be easier to see all of these pairs because they're a little bit more uh, mature on this network. So we have the overview right here. You can see liquidity going down over time, mainly because if we go to Polygon ZK EVM, we can see liquidity coming up as people move over to this network. Uh, so you can see that happening uh, pretty steadily. Uh, so let's keep on Polygon ZK, ZK EVM anyway. You can see the top tokens that are traded here. So these are the ones with the most liquidity, Matic, ETH, USDC. And then down here we have the top pairs. So these are the liquidity pools that people trade in. You have staked Matic and Matic, you have wrapped ETH and USDC, etc. down here. You have a lot of stable coins as well. 
So what we can see is that the APR, if you're giving these tokens over to get some trading fees, what, what are you going to earn? And then the farming APR, that's extra on top of, which we'll get into. So US dollar tether and USDC trading pair. This is got uh, has liquidity of this much. And the 24 hour volume is this much, around $50,000. And uh, what we can see here is the APR for this pair is 2.24%. And you're getting 10% as a farming reward. So if you have both of these tokens and put them in the pool, you can get around 2% yield per year. Uh, and, and then 10% on top of that as uh, an incentive as well, because QuickSwap token is given to you as an incentive uh, for you to place your liquidity on QuickSwap. Um, so what we can do is choose a pair here. So I'm going to choose this pair, which is a stable pair, because these two tokens are the same. If you're adding liquidity into an order book like this, you have to be aware of something called um, liquidity uh, impermanent loss. Impermanent loss is something that happens with pairs when they change price, you actually lose, uh, potentially lose money. So if you put them in at you know, this price and then the prices move, you have this loss. It's called impermanent loss because if the prices move back together, you actually don't make the loss anymore. It's very complicated, too much for this video. I have a video down below that explains it in detail if you want to know that. Um, simply though, if you use two tokens that don't have a price that is going to change, then you don't suffer impermanent loss. For example, two stable coins. So I'm going to click on this here, and we see the uh, we see the pair, we see the trading volume, we see what's happening, and we can add liquidity. We can go to swap, which we saw at the start of the video, but we're going to press add liquidity. So what we need now is the exact same ratio of the coins. Because this is a stable coin pair, $1 USDT, $1 USDC, and that's it. So you can see this uh, swap right here has a very tight spread at a dollar because these, these uh, assets are not going to change. You can do manually as well if you want. You can change the prices where you provide your liquidity. Um, but I would just obviously just choose automatic. It's going to be easier because it knows. Um, but you can change this. You can see the liquidity is basically $1, $1, because that's where they trade all the time. Um, so we can come down and do this. Now, what you need to do is you have you have to have the same amount of tokens in the pair. So if you want to deposit, you have to have both tokens. You have to deposit $100 of Tether. And because they're one-to-one -one exchange rate, that means you need $100 of USDC. You have first have to approve these. So you have to approve both tokens. You'll have to pay for gas for both of those. Once you've approved both of them, you need to go through to preview the, um, the swap that you're doing or the entry that you're doing. So you need to put both of those tokens into the pool, $100 each. So whatever that is, you can do that. You can see $100 of USDT is around about 94, but it's it's going to give you that um, ratio when you're putting the pairs in. So you can preview that, approve them, go through, and what will happen is you have that uh, those tokens in the liquidity pool, and you'll start earning um, trading fees from traders that actually use that liquidity pool. Up on the right hand side, when you put the tokens into the pool and confirm the transactions, you will actually be given an NFT. The NFT is like a receipt. It shows you how much you've put in the pool. So when you want to come and take the tokens out, what you do is you take that NFT, it's going to show up right here, and the protocol is going to say, hey, this uh, wallet has an NFT in it. We know that, and so we know that you have some tokens in this pool, and if you want to take them out, give us back the NFT, and we'll give you back the tokens that you put in the pool. So it's like a receipt as an NFT. It tells the protocol how much of the pool that you own. It also tells uh, how much of the trading fees that you own as well, because you own, let's say you own 1% of the pool, you'll get 1% of the trading fees. So all of that is done through this receipt that you get, which is the NFT. So that will be your LP right here. And if you want to withdraw the tokens, it will say here, uh, you know, remove liquidity, swap back the NFT and get back the tokens plus all of the trading fees that you've earned. If you've added liquidity into a pool, you do get the trading fees, but you can also farm as well. Farm right here, if we click this, if you are a liquidity provider and you have some of those NFTs, you can put them in here to farm extra rewards. This is a bonus or an incentive that QuickSwap gives you for using their exchange. So they're going to give you QuickSwap tokens as a bonus as an incentive on top of the trading fees that you're getting. So if we see the USDT, USDC pair that we um, 
that we just saw, you can see get LP that takes you back to the add liquidity page. If you have an NFT, it's going to come up and say, oh yeah, you've got a, you've got a liquidity provider NFT. Um, and we can see that we're going to get around this much per day, this liquidity pool gets this incentive per day. So if you earn 1% of that, you'll be getting 1%. Currently, the APR on a yearly basis is 12.8%. You get 2.2% from the pool, that's the trading fees, and then 10.5% from QuickSwap, who are giving you their QuickSwap token as an incentive. So you can press farm here. And for me, it says, hey, you haven't got any NFTs because we haven't added liquidity. If you did, you'd have that NFT and it would say, yeah, you've got 1% of this pool, farm your NFT and get the extra quick tokens that we're gonna give you as an incentive. So you're gonna get given those quick tokens into your wallet. You can do anything you want with those quick tokens. You can keep them as an investment or you can just sell them for more dollars and put them back into the pool or anything that you want. The link to QuickSwap down in the description, you can get a discount on your perp trading fees if you use that part of the platform. Binance and Bybit deposit and trading bonuses I'll link down in the description as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.